Hello, my name is Roman. I'm a developer at TestColors company, and today I'm going to show you how to manage employees screen savers for using TestColors notification tool. First, I'm going to log into a publisher console and proceed with the screen saver creation option. As you can see, I can do it in a three different ways. I can import the presentation from PowerPoint, convert it to a Windows Media video file. I can use any image I like, and I can use an HTML layout to create something uh, a little more complex with the different types of content. Actually, all uh, that is available for creating the usual messages. I'm going to proceed with this one. I'm going to call a simple name to this screensaver. I'm going to send it to myself. Actually, my screencasting software won't allow you to see anything on my <laughs> screensaver, so I'm just going to tell you that uh, you can use uh, different types of content there. You can use it as an engagement tool, you can put there some motivational quotes or whatever, uh, corporate policies, some rules, some reminders, basically any type of information that doesn't need to be delivered urgently. So you can just put it in a screensaver and you'll be sure that it will be displayed on your employees' desktops when they are away from their machine or just uh, sitting there not moving their mouse for a while. Mm, actually, you can uh, set up uh, several screensavers, send them to the same people and they will uh, cycle one after another. You can specify a period of time to display each screensaver and they will rotate until stopped from the control panel. This is the only way to get rid of this screensaver because if user changes it to something else, his settings will be overridden by a desktop agent. So I think it concludes our short tutorial on sending screensavers from a desktop notification tool.